Hey everybody, welcome back to Amy Reads. Uh, my library's a mess again. I haven't washed my hair in like five days. And I haven't made a video in over a week. Let's roll. So today I'm going to be talking about, that my nose itches. I'm gonna be talking about my most anticipated reads for the second quarter of the year. Um, because there are so many great books coming out this year, I decided to divide it up and so I will link my first anticipated reads of the year down below and that was January through March. Now I'm going to do April through June. So hopefully these dates are all still correct. I'm double checking as I go. Um, so I will uh, go in chronological order from the beginning of April until June and just kind of let you guys know what I am most um, anticipating uh, in the upcoming months. So anyway, without further ado, let's get to it. I have three April releases that I'm really excited about um, and I'm sure there are others and I'm just not as aware of them but my very first one is Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. This is, uh, Jen Bennett was the author of Alex Approximately which came out last year which was a very cute sort of You've Got Mail-esque situation um, and Starry Eyes I don't know a ton about. I think that it's set like at a camp, someone's camping, someone gets stuck with like their crush, or this guy they don't like anymore, something. I'm such a good booktuber. I researched this thoroughly, didn't I? Anyway, I'm actually going to be buddy reading this, I believe, with Heather over at Bookables and Brittany from Brittany Freaking Reads. Next is Abby Waxman's Other People's Houses, and this also comes out on April the 3rd. Uh, Abby Waxman wrote The Garden of Small Beginnings, which I talked about at length last year. It is an adult contemporary, and I totally fell in love with it last year. It was, I think, my second favorite book of the year. I'd have to go back and look at my favorites. Um, I loved it. It was a debut novel, and this is her second one. I'll be honest, I don't know the plot off the top of my head, and I don't care because I loved that first book so much. These are not related, by the way. This is not a series. Um, that she's kind of like an autobi author for me now. Uh, so hopefully I'll be getting to that one, like, in April or May very, very soon, because I'm really excited about it. Of course, I would be remiss if I did not mention Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli, which comes out April 24th. I'm so damn excited for this book. Um, I just reread Simon, and of course went and saw Love, Simon. Leah on the Offbeat, of course, is about Leah from Simon vs. Homo Sapiens Agenda. If you didn't know, this is all kind of in the same Simon verse. Uh, also, The Upside of Unrequited was my favorite book of last year, and that is the second book in the kind of Simon verse, um, following Molly, who is the cousin of a character from Simon. It's all connected. Anyway, if you uh, watch any kind of book tube, you probably already know this, so I'm just rambling. Anyway, Leon the Offbeat, April 24th. There are an actual shit ton of May releases, and I'm probably forgetting some, honestly, because I made this list a while ago, so they've probably added some. But we're just going to start at the top, which is May 8th, and that is Love and Luck by Jenna Evans Welch. This is the companion, like, sister book to Love and Gelato, which came out a couple years ago, which was, of course, set in Italy? Yes. <laughs> set in Italy. This if you can imagine, is set in Ireland. And this is about the best friend of the protagonist from the first book. She goes to Ireland. Love happens. Luck happens. I don't know. I'm so excited. Um, I think she's kind of going for like an Anna and the French Kiss doing like a sister series. I don't know. Maybe this will just be just a duology of sorts. I don't know, but I'm totally here for it. Also on May 8th is Julie Murphy's newest book called Puddin, which is a companion to Dumplin, I believe. Um, I think it's set in the same universe. I think some of our characters from Dumplin make little appearances in Puddin, if I am remembering correctly. I love Julie Murphy. I loved Dumplin. It's getting ready to be a movie. Well, they've already like filmed it, but it's gonna be a movie. It's gonna be amazing. Um, totally here for Puddin. Totally here for um, fat girl protagonists. Just fat protagonists. Just scratch the girl part. Fat protagonist. I'm totally here for that. Also on May 8th is The Way You Make Me Feel by Marine Gu. I just read, I believe in a thing called Love, um, which is Marine Gu's debut novel last month. Wasn't totally in love with it. Gave it like a three, three and a half, but it's a debut 
and I love a good contemporary. I love that it's diverse. She has, you know, Korean American uh, protagonists. So really appreciative of that and going to keep reading her stuff. Coming out May 15th is Tin Man by Sarah Winman. I don't know a lot about this except for I know that a lot of the UK booktubers I follow raved about this last year. It's a very short novel. Um, I believe it is about a um, gay male relationship, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, I just heard that it was just mind-blowingly good, and it is finally coming out in the United States on May the 15th, so I've added it to my most anticipated reads list, and hopefully we'll be getting to that sometime this spring. Next up is on May 22nd, and there's actually a couple coming out this day, um, and that is From Twinkle With Love by Sandhya Menon, who... I think I'm saying that correctly. Please tell me if I'm not. Um, she wrote uh, When Dimple Met Rishi last year, <laughs> and I loved that book. It was a very solid contemporary, a very solid um, debut novel. And so this is her newest one. As you can see, it has a beautiful cover. This is about a young um, filmmaker, aspiring filmmaker named Twinkle. She is making a movie for some summer festival. It's gonna bring her closer to her crush. I don't know. It's a contemporary. Do you, have, do, you, do you see a theme? I enjoy YA contemporary and I don't have to know that much about it. Like if I know I like the author, if you know the elevator pitch sounds good, I'm going to give it a shot. Um, so anyway, this has been on my radar for a while and probably lots of other people who enjoyed When Diplomat Rishi. So this one comes out May 22nd. Also coming out May 22nd is The Brightsiders by Jen Wilde. And this is sort of like a um, girl in the spotlight, paparazzi um, kind of story, which I'm totally into. It sounds light and fluffy and fun and just what I'm going to be in the mood for for summertime or like taking to the pool and reading. Um, and anyway, yeah, I'm excited to read a Jen Wilde novel. I hear they're pretty cute. Also on May 22nd is The Summer Children by Dot Hutchinson. Um, I read The Butterfly Garden, which is the first in this trilogy uh, last year or the year before, and it is a really effed up, like, psychological thriller, I guess, um, about this girl who gets uh, kidnapped, basically, and taken to this place called The Butterfly Garden. Um, where all these women live and it's this weird like it's kind of like a garden but there's like cells of sort and um it was kind of very like along came a spider sort of um but anyway and the guy who was capturing them uh who is called the collector he tattooed these huge butterflies on each of their backs that's why they were called the butterflies anyway i read it it was great. It was real effed up. And I've not read the second one, but this is the third one. So I'm excited for this, but I did not read what it's about because I didn't want to spoil the second one. And it's really hard to find the second one. Like, you have to basically buy it on Kindle, and it's like $10. And I'm cheap. Like, I don't want to buy digital media for $10. If I'm going to spend $10, it better be in my damn hands. Anyway, if you like psychological thrillers and you don't mind being like grossed out and disturbed, or maybe you even like being grossed out and disturbed, um, I would read the first one for sure. My last May release is a new Casey West book called Listen to Your Heart. I believe this is about a girl who does like a radio show or a podcast or something like that. I don't need to know that much about a Casey West book. I hope you didn't come here wanting to know all of the <laughs> summaries for all these books because I'm shitty at it. I'm really bad at it. I'm just like know that I want to read it. I don't know specifics comes out May 29th. It's Casey West, I'm gonna read it. It's Casey West, I'm gonna read it. Coming out on June the 5th is Morgan Matson's newest book called Save the Date. Um, this is about a girl whose sister's getting married, I believe. She's in the wedding, her crush is there. I don't need more than that. I've read every Morgan Matson book. I love her, I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna read it. Also coming out on June the 5th is Fat Girl on a Plane by Kelly DeVos. This one I'm a little iffy about. I'm not totally sure how they're going to deal with it. I am, like I said, I am all here for um, fat protagonists. This is about a girl who gets this, um, she is a fat girl. She's a senior in high school and she gets like a really awesome internship, I think, in the fashion world. I think she's got a fashion blog. Um, and she's declared too fat to fly, so she has to buy a second seat on the plane. And then she gets there and her internship's given to this skinny girl and it's about pursuing your dreams and overcoming things and hopefully not some horrible weight loss plan. I don't know. 
I I'm excited for it. I hope that it ends up being good. I forgot to mention that June also has an actual shit ton of releases. There's a lot. Next up on June the 12th is Riley Redgate's newest book, Final Draft. This is about a girl who takes creative writing class. She's really praised for her work and then, you know, by her teacher. And then three months before she graduates, the teacher is replaced by this Pul Pulitzer Prize winning author um, who's really, really difficult on her and things happen. I actually have a arc of this or a galley of this from NetGalley that I'm going to try to read in the month of May so that I can kind of give you guys an idea of what I thought about it. I've not read anything else by Riley Redgate so I am excited and I do really like this cover. It's very fun and colorful. On June 19th, Not the Girls You're Looking For by Amina May Safi. I think I'm saying that correctly, comes out. Um, this is about a girl named Lulu and her three best friends and she kind of gets into some trouble a lot. She kind of makes scenes everywhere she goes um, and she kind of gets herself into more trouble, kind of bites off more than she can chew. I'm sure that there is going to be a cute boy or girl. There's going to be some kind of romance. I'm sure it's a YA contemporary. I'm excited. Adorable cover. Need I say more? On June 26th, My Plain Jane comes out by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. So if anyone remembers, um, and you should, My Lady Jane, which came out two years ago, it was about young Queen Jane who was queen for like nine days. And it was a historical fiction, magical realism retelling. It was amazing. It was hysterical. This is apparently like a sister series trilogy and My Plain Jane is a Jane Eyre retelling. Um, and then there's gonna be My Calamity Jane which also comes out um, or comes out like next year maybe or the year after. I don't know. I freaking love the first one. I love this cover. I am 110% here for this book. Just a couple more that come out at the end of June that I don't really know a ton about. Wild Blue Wonder by Carly Sorosiak. Um, and also The Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay. I know Paul Tremblay wrote Dis uh, Disappearance at Devil's Rock, I believe, and some other stuff. My husband's read a few of his books. They are um, mystery thrillers. I've not read them yet, but I want to, and this one sounds good as well. Um, of course, you can look up any of these titles on your own. I'm not great at describing all of them. All right, so that is my very horribly described, most anticipated reads. I should have done some more research. I just really wanted to show you the books I'm excited about. You don't need to know every single one, right? If it sounds kind of good, you're going to go look it up. It's fine. I don't need to spoon feed you guys. You're awesome. Please let me know down in the comments below what you're most excited about, uh, what you're most excited to read in the coming couple of months, kind of spring and summer. I am definitely excited. I get some time off in the summer and I tend to do a lot of reading. So I'm very excited for all these awesome contemporaries coming out. Obviously I'm a big contemporary person so I read a lot of those. Um, so hopefully there's some overlap and there were some in there that maybe you were excited about or that you hadn't heard of that you now want to look into. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe and I'll be back soon with more book talk. Bye!